Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for K2S plus CaNO3 2 Potassium sulfide, and this is calcium nitrate. So the first thing that we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see I have these two potassiums here and just one here. Let's put a coefficient of two in front of the potassium nitrate. Now I have two nitrate ions. That's okay, I have two nitrate ions here. So those are balanced. We have a calcium and a calcium and a sulfur and a sulfur. That's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. That's gonna look like this. So nitrates, they're gonna be soluble. Compounds with the nitrate ion, very soluble. And compounds with potassium, they're most often soluble as well. Sulfides in general, compounds with the sulfur, in general are insoluble, and calcium sulfide, that's insoluble. So it's gonna be a precipitate. It's gonna to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate, a solid. So those are the states. Now we're gonna split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that's gonna give us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. Note that we didn't split the solid here, the calcium sulfide apart, because in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions and they're on both sides. So if I look at the reactants on the top here, products on the bottom, I can see there's two potassium ions here in the reactants. And then in the products, there are two potassium ions. Those are spectator ions, we'll get rid of those two nitrate ions, and in the products, two nitrate ions, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for K2S plus CaNO3 2. I'll clean it up, write the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for potassium sulfide plus calcium nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a two plus and a two minus. That gives us a net charge of zero. This calcium sulfide, that has a net charge of zero as well. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for K2S plus CaNO3 potassium sulfide and calcium nitrate. Thanks for watching.